So there are macro trends, micro trends, nano trends, trends. People are micro dosing trends and I eat it all up. To be honest, you guys know I love trends. I do like trying trends. However, I do feel like I am kind of selective in the trends that I try. I am going to be talking about the trends that I've tried within the past year or so, or at least been wearing within the past year that I still love. You might remember a video on my channel recently where I talked about the trends that I do regret. There aren't a lot of them. No, again, I feel like, first of all, I'm a lover. I can't help but love so many trends, okay? So these are the things that I ride for in my closet. First up, I don't know if I'm cheating by saying this, but I've included capes and ponchos in my trend forecasts for the past, I don't know, a few years now. And I've been trying them out and having some in my wardrobe for that long as well. And I don't know if it's necessarily caught on elsewhere. Like I've seen people in them, don't get me wrong, more than not, but I wouldn't say it's like trend trend, um, at least from my lens. However, in my house, it's a big trend and I love them. They've actually just transferred from a trend to like a core part of my wardrobe. Um, I have about, I don't know, three or four now. And I started off with two. I have this one brown cape and it is the most perfect cape. I wear it constantly. That is probably my most worn thing this year. Um, and it's like this herringbone fabric and it's perfect. I can dress it up. I can dress it down. I also have this sweater cape. It's like a knit one and it's white and it has like these little fringe tassels at the bottom and it's really seriously perfect. Again, I've dressed it up, I've dressed it down. And then if you guys have been watching my thrift with me, I have a couple of other ones that are newer in my wardrobe that I'm excited about, but those are my two main girls, okay? And I feel a sense of loyalty to them because they protect me on my, first of all, my coldest days. They're so cozy, but also just when you don't want to think about your outfit, a cape and some jeans are, it's so easy. And I feel like I always feel put together when I'm wearing them. I also feel like they're fun because they give you a sort of different shape and silhouette to work with. Second on my list, this is in no particular order. However, my two favorite things are at the top. And the second being tabbies. I love tabbies. I have owned three pairs of different tabbies in my lifetime. The two that I currently have are my Margella tabbies, which are my loafers. And I think they are quite literally the most beautiful, perfect thing ever. Like I wore them when I first got them and then I kind of like, I don't know what, I just felt like they were a little bit harder to style, but I feel like where my style is right now, I'm so glad that I have them because I do feel like I've been leaning into the more neutral kind of like put together chic looks. And I feel like they've been perfect for that to add a little bit of a fun flair. And I know tabbies, I don't know if they're still as controversial as like when I used to talk about them back in like, again, three or four years ago. But I do think a lot of the people that I see online talk about them were like, I hated them a year ago and now I'm like obsessed with them and I need them. And so I really like seeing that. I love character growth. You know what I'm saying? And if you're still one of the people who they freak you out and you don't like them, I totally get that as well. However, I, again, I'm just like on the other end of the spectrum. I love them so much. I feel like they're so interesting. They're a little kooky and weird, um, but I think that's what I like about them. And it's kind of, <laughs> kind of leading me down a crazy path because now I see those shoes, you know, like the, <laughs> the, like I had a science teacher in high school and he wore the, this kind of shoe every single day. Okay. The little sneakers. And I always loved it. I thought it was so iconic. And I was like, that has to be comfortable. Now owning tabbies, they, I can say they are mo some of my most comfortable shoes. Anyway, my second pair of tabbies are from Etsy. I think they're from like the big brand that does the wood whatever, I can't think of it right now. And those were at a much more affordable price point and I love them so much. The quality is impeccable as well. I have to say that is also. And those are my little slingback kitten heels, which again, I wear during the entire year. I wear them in the summer, I wear them in the spring, I wear them in the fall winter. And something about the slingback and the shape of them, I just think they're so precious. Then the third pair that I had, I ended up selling them. They were the Reebok X Margella tabbies and they're the white ones. And I really loved them and I really like them still. However, I just found myself never wearing them. Whenever I was wearing sneakers, I kind of wanted them to be more low key. And again, I think they're really iconic. When I see people wearing them, I'm like almost saddened that, that I sold them, but whatever. I can't live like that. And if you're someone who wants to wear tabbies or some form of a tabby kind of shoe, um, I, and you're like kind of scared by them because again, I don't live in a big city or anything. I go to a normal grocery store wearing them and I realized, I think I was a little bit hesitant at first with them. Um, but I realized no one looks at your shoes and if anything, when they do, they think they're interesting and they'll say they're interesting or whatever, but that's kind of it. You know what I mean? Like it's really not that big of a deal. And I think I psyched myself out for a long time, but it's not worth being psyched out about, you know? Number three, the Miu Miu sunglasses. Okay, so I wanted the Miu Miu sunglasses for so long. However, I have a round face, I have a big head, and I was unsure about them. So I never pulled the trigger. However, Jared surprised me with them again last Christmas. I have the white frames and I love them so, so much. First of all, they do fit my face, I think, decently. However, something that I love even more, 
I have this pair of glasses that you guys see me in constantly. They are my number one complimented pair of glasses that I've ever owned. And they're just from Eyebuy Direct. And I was looking for a pair that kind of gave me that similar Mimu vibe, a little bit bigger and a little bit more interesting of a shape, um, or I guess just different of shape. I wouldn't say interesting, but I feel like they're even more perfect than the Mimu ones for my face shape and my vibe in general, like my taste. And um, I love them so much. So I think what I'm trying to say is finding what's right takes it to the next level. Do you know what I'm saying? You can love something, but you can find something similar that might work even better for you and that is this pair of glasses for me and my sister just recently bought them they look so cute on her i think that they would literally look so cute on anyone and you can't beat the price difference obviously like these ones i'm not saying they're like a dupe for these at all but i think that they give me a similar vibe if that makes sense the next one for those of you who know me you may be like not surprised at all and you also probably are like wow i thought i wouldn't have to hear the word sailor um for at least the next few months and that is because I love my sailor nautical pieces and that are in my closet specifically my sailor hat I also have this really beautiful blue sailor dress and then this white sailor top that I made and I will I'm gonna reuse this pattern for a few more things that I again I have like a plaid shirt I feel like a plaid sailor version would be so cool as well and I think back to Popeye and I think that's what I love so much is how quirky Popeye to me feels. I specifically really love the idea of styling like the nautical pieces with like 50s and 60s vibes like in the summer. This outfit for me was one of my favorite summer outfits and it was just a white skirt with some little kids. So I do feel like the idea of skirts over pants has been solidified as like a trend at this point. I do feel like I would classify. I don't know what, what level or what size, but I do see it often still even, and I really just love it. I, again, I still like I've always said I don't do it enough as I probably should like that I feel like I should in my heart, you know? When I do, I feel very powerful. And what more could you want from your clothing, you know? Next are Sambas. And I am not taking part in the discourse on the hating Sambas train because I ride for my Sambas. They have provided me with comfort, cuteness for a few years now that I just love. And I will never stop wearing my Sambas. I think they're a really classic style. Yes, you can say they were so oversaturated in X amount of years or whatever, but some things are for good reason. So it's like, yeah, Taylor Swift's so popular, blah, blah, blah. She's over overrated, but it's like, she's still underrated. So anyway, I think that the Samba in and of itself is still perfect. I love, I had, I wear them constantly. I have like the Wales Bonner ones specifically are my favorites and my red ones. You guys know I love my red ones and this pair. I've worn them to concerts. I've worn them walking around and they've just never given me problems. I love, I love things in life that have never given me problems. It's rare. Also, while we're talking about shoes within the same vein, Onisuka Tigers, I have two pairs of those and I love them so much. And they're another sneaker that I will wear or mark my words, I'll say it. I will wear them forever. I think I will. Like, I'm not lying. Also, same to my moon boots, okay, you guys? I have my girls back there, my furry ones. I have a green pair, and then I also have a silver pair. My silver pair were my first pair. I love them so much. I just wore my green pair into Ace Hardware, and the guy at the counter was in love with them. And I still think that that speaks for itself. Like, they're interesting. They're kind of like a tabby, which you don't know. Maybe sometimes people don't know if they like them or not. They're like a moment. Also, aside from the fact that they're iconic and cute, um, they're also so functional and comfortable and warm um, for my people who live in a snowier climate or just a cold climate in general. Um, I highly recommend them just as snow boots even. Polka dots, obviously, I don't have a lot to say on this. You guys know how I feel about them, but um, I have tops, I have shoes. And if anything, if I have one regret in life in this video, it would be to not buy, that I haven't bought more polka dots so that I don't own more of the polka dot uh, world, you know? Then Carhartt jackets, which I feel like it's like every few years they were like really talked about. Um, but I, again, I have two that I've found on uh, eBay and I love them so much. They're so cozy and comfortable and I just love the utility vibe that they give and I love mixing them again. You guys know how I style them, but I love mixing them with other styles. Also, one thing about me, I will never ever regret a fun little detail. Okay, so specifically I am talking about my flower clips. You guys have seen me wear my flower clips to the death and um, especially spring and summer is like really where they thrive in my wardrobe but I love them all year long and I just wear them constantly and right now that's kind of moved into a brooch or like a horse show ribbon or a ribbon kind of vibe right now I feel like that's kind of like my winterified version of that um but all can be worn all year long and I love them I just think they breathe a sense of life into my outfits like actual life I think that that's why I like kind of like 
things that from nature added into my outfit, it feels like I'm more naturey than I am um, in my own way. You know what I'm saying? And then also my shaggy scarf, again, uh, my most fun accessory, but I just, I don't regret this. I don't think I will. I love it so much. I found it at Urban Outfitters and it just adds a little bit of fun into any outfit, but especially just an outfit that is so boring. Sometimes I just wear, you know, a trench coat, shoes in that and I feel myself. I feel like it's perfect. And then also the ruffle scrunchie. I will always love a fun hair accessory like this. No matter how often I see them, similarly to the bow, I love them. I don't care. Again, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. Slight mention boat shoes because I don't think I ever necessarily got sick of boat shoes after wearing them pre-2015, uh, but I think that I just never like repurchased them after I wore my personal pair into the ground. Also track pants, like I don't know how anyone can not, I, like I understand, I know there are some of you who don't like the look of track pants, but it's like once you wear a pair of track pants as part of your outfit and you've tricked yourself into thinking like, oh my God, this is track pant chic, not track pant like lazy. It's life changing because it's so comfortable, you know? And I just, again, I love the juxtaposition of those with a pair of ballet flats or just with a pair of like, again, you guys know I love my glitter boots, but like wearing them with that. And I just love playing with things like that. And I think that Again, you can't beat their comfort. And to be honest, I have track pant trauma I'm not gonna get into right now. So technically I shouldn't really love them, but I do. I've gone past it because I, they're that good for me. One, like, okay, capris are kind of unexpected for me to say because I tried them out last spring, summer. I still love them. Obviously it's too cold right now to wear them, but I still would. Um, and I just, as at this moment, I don't regret them. And at this moment, I also, I can't really regret them. I haven't really spent any money on them anyways to regret. I kind of just, I think I, like I have like a couple pair and I think that I've chopped some leggings off and I thrifted one pair. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. I think that they're very, again, Audrey Hepburn. And I love that kind of chic effortless feel to an outfit that, and I also think that the bone part of like your, oh my God, the bone part, the ankle, your ankle is sexy and it makes me feel kind of like sexy sweet. Even if I'm just wearing it like this with like a little Jersey kind of top um and they're comfortable too they're like again the chic version to me of a legging still loving my bag charms as well so this is newer like this is kind of cheating because it's like i've only done it for a little bit so you can't really regret it after like immediately doing it but i don't see myself regretting it like how could i look at a hello kitty keychain on my bag and be like why did I even fucking do that? You know, but I'm not going to because it's cute. And I feel like I get to express myself in ways like me personally. I don't know if those of you who also do bag charms feel like this, but you get to kind of personalize it to whatever you're feeling like that day, but just in general and get to put some of your personality on display where you, I feel like normally it would be kind of harder to for me at least. And so when I do put like a little Hello Kitty, like, yes, I'm so fun. I'm youthful. I'm there, you know, while I'm here, but Hello Kitty as well is on this list, like not leaving her, but ballet flats and Mary Jane's still my ride or dies. I think that they're still so cute and perfect. And I haven't seen that much hate. Like, you know, sometimes at the end of trends or when you're shifting, people are shifting and things have been so oversaturated. You start hearing people be like, shit, talking ballet flats, you know, things like that. I've heard a little bit of discourse on that, but like not a lot. And so I do feel like people who wear those ride for those as well. Um, not everyone. I know that there are the people who say they're uncomfortable. I've gotten lucky with the shoes that I have are very comfortable, but I just feel like I don't know what I really did before flats and before specifically again, ballet flats, Mary Jane's. I think that they bring a sense of delicacy to my outfits that I previously felt like I was lacking. And I think that I like Again, some of my skin showing in my foot, even if I'm wearing a sock, I like the sock showing. I think it adds, gives me more to play with in that way also, like color wise. And um, I just think they're cute still, I don't know. Lastly, balaclavas. I was on Substack, I don't even remember whose this was, not that I would say anyway, but someone was shit talking balaclavas and just like bonnets in general, and just like that they're too youthful, or whatever, and val everyone's valid to their own opinion. However, for me, I just am like, I feel like that's why I'm drawn to them. And I just think that they bring that sort of youthful feel to my outfits. And that's what I feel like I've always said, um, especially the bonnets where they tie and you just look like a little baby doll. And I don't think that necessarily like, okay, if you're taking that too far and you want like, 
you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into the deal details there. Like, of course that could be a problem to an extent. However, if you're a normal person doing that and you like, like a little bit of cutesiness to your outfit, I see no problem with it. Um, and so I think it's so fun and I will continuously be wearing like actually genuinely, I, that's something I also don't know what I did before. I don't know what I did before I had a bal balaclava and bonnets because it's cold. They are so functional and practical and cozy. I will never stop never gonna give you up as of right now those are all the things that I will not be regretting anytime soon I would love to know what trends that you've tried that you don't see yourself regretting or that you just like still love so much even if they're trends that other people hate um I think that that's the most beautiful part of fashion um and so let me know down below and subscribe if you like these videos and Welcome also to the first day of Vlogmas. I think what I'm going to do for Vlogmas is what I've done the past couple of years is where I do a video every other day. So like a fashion video probably twice a week and then maybe a vlog once a week I'm going to try for. And so subscribe if you would like to be a part of this. And it's just my own little version of something to get us in the mood. Not that all of these videos are going to be holiday themed or anything, but it's kind of fun. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for being here and uh, love you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.